Alright guys, welcome back to Alarm PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to easily create this magazine animation in PowerPoint. After you watch this video, I think you can make it in less than 10 minutes probably even faster. All right, first of all, right click and then insert vertical guide and horizontal guide. It's really important because it can help us to align every object perfectly. You can press control key while clicking to duplicate the guide. I also put it to every edge of the slide as boundaries. Now let's insert a rectangle shape, just a little rectangle like this and then duplicate it. Put one on the top and one on the bottom. I gotta use the rectangles to help me put some new guidelines. So here, put a new vertical lines to the right and one to the left. Do the same thing for the horizontal lines. All right, these these guidelines work like margins. They're really important for helping us design the magazine PowerPoint. Once you're done, insert one picture as a cover from your device. By the way, I got this picture from Paxos.com. There is an album called Vishni from a creator named Max Fakvohi or Fakbofi. Really sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name correctly. I used some photos from his album in this tutorial. Alright, now go to the crop option, move the handle like this, and make sure if the picture can be used as magazine cover that we've seen a lot on the internet. I think I'm good with this one. Now insert a text box and type your title. Here, I'll name it Vishni. Change the font, make it bigger, change the color to yellow, align it to the center. Here, I add some shadow. Insert and draw one straight line below the text change the color to yellow and add some weight. Hold control key and then carefully drag the line upward. Insert a new rectangle shape and then put it as border of your picture. Get rid of the outline and then change the color to whatever you like. Duplicate it and then put it on every edge of the picture. Now add another rectangle like this and then make it black. Duplicate it and then put it on another side. Now add a new text box. Here you can write something cool and then add yellow background, change the font and then adjust it a little bit. Add another text box and then then you can type something here. In this case, to save your time, I've prepared my text in my clipboard. So for my case, I just paste it. Now add another text boxes on the left and then type your text. I'll add magazine volume and real estate on the top like this. Now to make it better, insert another new rectangle here on the bottom side, change it to yellow, adjust the size a little bit like this, and then send it backwards until it stands below the borders. All right, let's zoom out. Now insert a PNG barcode. I'll put the link on the description and then put the barcode on top of the yellow rectangle like this and then add a new text box. Here, you can write anything. But for this case, I think a random side is good. Now, select and block all of the gray borders and the black rectangle on the side in shape format. Go to selection pane and then bring every of the shape up so that it stands above everything in layer order. The harder slide in this tutorial is done. Now, duplicate the slide one. On slide two, you need to move all of the borders and the black rectangles to outside of the slide. Here, I also lengthen the border rectangle that stand on the top and the bottom. Now select and block the text boxes on the bottom left, drag it to outside the slide. Here we basically drag every object to outside and just left the necessary one. For this yellow rectangle, make it longer and drag it to the bottom. For this barcode, you can make it bigger and then drag it to the bottom as well. Click the image on the center and then go to the cropping option. Drag every handle so that the image can fill all of the slide. All right. Increase the size of the title and then drag it to the left. Drag this line as well and then lengthen it a little bit. Insert a new text box and then type your text. Now for the right side of the slide, I type another text so that it not looks so empty. Insert a rectangle and then draw it on bottom like this. Get rid of the outline and then change it to white. All right. Here, you can insert some contact information above it. Now select and block the new objects we've made in this slide too. Copy it, go to slide one and then paste it. Drag them outside of the slide. Now click on shape format, go to the selection pane. Here, just like before, you wanna make sure if the gray borders and the black rectangle angles to stand above everything in this layer order. For the slide 2, same thing like before, make sure you put the rectangles above everything in layer order. Alright, select and block every slide and then activate move transition. You can change the duration if you want to. So now, if you follow the steps correctly, then it will look something like this. It's really cool as an opening guys. The audiences will be like, <gasps> Nah, 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 not 100% like that. But yeah, you know, it's more than enough to make him impressed of your work. Now, add some new slides, as many as you want. I only need three for this tutorial. Insert a new rectangle shape, then draw it all over the slide as background. Remove the outline and then change the color to gray. And then copy it to another slide. For the last slide, I want to make it a little bit darker. You know, the variation thing. All right, for the slide three, insert an image, go to the crop option, and then drag the cropping handle to the margin line we've made before. And then in cropping option, click 
on fill. All right, now we got a cool photo. Now insert a new text box and then write down a page number. Change the font and then bold it. All right, insert a new text box again and then type a site address on the bottom side. Copy the text boxes and then paste it on another slide. Also, don't forget to change the page numbers. Now go to insert tab, shape, draw a new rectangle here. Get rid of the outline and then change the color to white. Insert another rectangle, change it to yellow and then put it like this. Insert a new text box and then type your title. Another new text box again, but here you type your description. All right. Now right click on the white rectangle, format shape and then set the transparency to 30%. Select and block slide 3 to 5 and then go to transition tab, activate page curl transition. All right, slide three is done. Easy, right? Now in slide four, we're gonna do same thing like before. Insert a new picture, go to the crop option, drag the handle to the guidelines, and then in cropping option, click on fill. For the media of the text, go to insert, shapes, and then draw one new rectangle like this. Remove the outline and then change it to orange. I wanna put a title. So I go to the slide two, copy the title, and then go back to slide four, paste it. Here, I just gonna rename the title to outdoor. Insert a new text box and then type your text. Now insert two photos for decoration, spread it out for a sec. Now draw a new rectangle shape above it. Change the color to white and then duplicate it. Click on the rectangle and then send it backwards. Adjust the position a little bit and then group it. Do the exact same principle for another photo. Select and lock the two photo groups, right click, format object and then add shadow like this. Now you can adjust the position of the photos whatever you like. Easy right? Now go to the next slide, insert a new picture again, click on crop. Move the cropping handle like before and then in cropping option click on fill go back to slide 2 copy the title and then paste it on slide 5 again i'll rename the text according to whatever title i want for this slide now insert a new text box and then type your description down all right go back to slide 1 and if you follow all of the steps your slide is gonna look something like this pretty cool right if this helped you you might want a tutorial about the scrolling effect in powerpoint where you can create a website look presentation in easy and to the point tutorial just check it out on the end screen i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching